Hey ladies and gentlemen, how you doing? Today we're going to review my new 2012 Chevrolet Impala. As you can see they changed the grill from the older one and the engine. I'll take you to a walk around. This is the LT model. The, op the only option I put was tinted windows that I put myself. Anything else came with the vehicle. I'll show you the outside first. So the tires it came with. Not bad. You know, at all, the car is not really, you know, a bad car. It's a nice car. It came with the the wing, the two exhaust in the back. As you can see, is the LT. Okay. Black with like gray interior. I'll show you the interior. Front seat for driver. I find it really, really comfortable for me. Okay. It's the seat. Nice cushion chair. It has um power seat. Okay. It has the automatic window just for the driver. I'm used to my Camry that my Camry, my wife has a Toyota Camry 2010. All four windows in my wife's car go up and down the mag by itself. Not a big deal, but you know it's nice to have. You can see it has a little wood texture inside. So you the inside a little bit. Okay. Um, I find that the glove compartment is kind of small in this car. As you can see, this is my daughter's pass when I pick her up in school. It hardly fits there. This is a regular size piece of paper. That's of the glove compartment. It's kind of look how chunked up it is in there to close. Not that much space. You would think, you know, if an American car that they're used to making nice big vehicles or have a nice size glove compartment. It comes with your shifter. And you will have no information here for the shifter. It will be, you know, on the dash. I'll show you later when I turn it on. It has a little console here that you can open. And you can take this top off and it has another compartment in there. It has um, a port right here for you to connect for your cell phone charger or your GPS. It has, two, it has three, I believe. It has down one. No, yeah, three. And down here, as you can see, it has one here. And one on the other side, right there. Two of them. There it goes. And there it goes. So in total you have three of them. Which is not bad. You have your... Um, this one comes with OnStar. Which OnStar I do like. That, that's, you know, really cool. Both side comes with the mirror on it. With the light. Okay. That's just the microphone for the OnStar or for your Bluetooth. The steering wheel, you control the volume. It has the, to, for you to change your radio for the Bluetooth. Okay, change the source, you know, FM, AM, satellite radio. Over here is your cruise control. And the back here is the manual shifter. If you want to do the shifting in your car, you know, this is up gears, down gears. Right back here. Okay, I'll show you now the back seat. Now, for me, I find that the back seat doesn't have that much space. I would like it to have more. This is the back seat. So, this is the way I sit, comfortable. So, as you can see, somebody normal with normal height sitting in here, their knees will be really, you know, touching the chair, like, big time. You really don't have that much space. You got to, like, open your legs up to be comfortable. Okay, if you sit with the chair more back, maybe for a female, it's a nice, you'll have nice space back here. One good thing about these chairs that I like is, I'll show you right now what they do. You could, um, to have more space, you could lift the chair up like this. See that? And you have that. And then you could bring this one down. And you could do this on both of them. And you'll have a flat surface from the trunk to up here to your seat. That's a cool option that the car has. Okay, and like I said, both of them go down. I'll leave it that for now, I'll bring it up later. I'll show you real quick the, the trunk. The key comes, my key well, came with the auto start, which is the top button, the unlock and lock button, the trunk, and the panic button. Do the trunk one now. As you can see, the trunk space, like. The majority of American cars is good, nice space, nice and big. Okay, you have your 
tire in the bottom here. Okay, regular donut. But the chunk is a nice, good space. All right. I'll show you real quick the the way auto starts works in this car. You lock the car, then you leave it pressed for two seconds to start button, and let it go, and the car starts. And there it go. The car started. When the car starts, it starts with the AC or um, with the AC or heater on, depending on the temperatures outside, which is that's really cool. You know, you don't have to turn the you don't have to leave the AC on at night, none of that stuff. It turns on by itself. So as we go in, as you could, I don't know if you could hear the heater is on right now, but as you can see here, it's off. See a little click, it's in zero. Now I put the key in and it'll turn off. See? So this is the inside of the car. Like I told you, the shifter and the information is there. You can see your fuel, your temperature, you know, speedometer, your RPMs. Um, over here, this one comes with an option, as you can see right here. I'll zoom in, you can see there. And you could change different things, you know, and it'll be for you to change here. You could have to change your language, the doors, how you want it. Do you want the doors to lock when you, um, when you, when you put it in park, or do you want the doors to unlock when you take it off park, or when you turn the key off? You know, it's really cool, it has different options. See the remote door lock, unlocked, exiting lighting. You could change almost anything. Approach lighting. It's really, you know, cool. It gives you also information about your oil life, your tire pressure, left front. See that? So you get the point. You get a lot of information from that. OnStar, like I said many of the times, OnStar works. I love OnStar. You can make phone calls, you know. It's cool. The car came with it free for a few months, so you know, I'm gonna ride with it. Maybe I'll take it. Let's open the hood. I'll show you what the inside looks like. Where the speed comes from. One thing I can't complain about this car, the speed. It has some nice, nice pickup. It's a V6. Here we go. Supposedly it has an engine of a Cadillac. So they changed the engine this year, 2012. You know, as a it's different from the 2011 and down, but it's a like I said, it's a nice, nice pickup. It has it goes really fast, but Impala's always gone, always gone fast. But it's a nice car. I hope this review helps you if you want to buy the car or you were just looking around. It's not a bad buy, and I think you guys will enjoy it. Hope you enjoy it, and thank you for watching my review and the 2012 Chevy Impala. Bye. All right, another cool feature for this Chevy is you could download this app from OnStar right? and if you have OnStar and you could see your car in the map somebody steals your car or your son takes your car your daughter permission your wife or your husband you could track them down on this map you could turn on turn off unlock lock and turn the panic button on from any state you could be in Canada and your or in California sorry and your car in Florida and you could start it or you know turn it off you could um you could see the tire pressures in your car, or you could see your fuel level, your oil life in the car, etc. More and more. You know, it's it's a really cool feature. I hope you guys enjoyed it. All right, thank you.